With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is which of the following plots represents the behavior of an ideal binary liquid solution? Right. So, uh, what do we have here? Now, if we talk about uh, the behavior of an ideal binary liquid solution. Now, here in the options, from here we can understand that you are given YA or YB. Now, YA is basically the uh, mole fraction of A in vapor phase, right? P total is the total pressure. YB is the mole fraction of B in the vapor phase, right? And uh, yeah, these are the terms that we are using here. Now, if we talk about the mole fraction in the vapor phase, that is equal to, this can be written as vapor pressure of A in liquid phase divided by total pressure, right? This is how we can write YA and in the same way we can write YB also, where we will be taking vapor pressure of B in liquid phase divided by the total pressure, right? Now, the uh, vapor pressure of A in liquid phase can be written as E naught A XA, where XA represents the mole fraction in the liquid phase and P naught A represents the pressure of the pure liquid, right? Divided by the total pressure. So, uh, now, now if we plot a curve between YA and P total, right? This equation will be like Y is equal to MX, right? So, we are plotting between YA and 1 by P total. So, this is going to be a linear curve right because it represents a linear equation where the slope is m right x is 1 by p total and y y is y a okay so the plot between y a and 1 by p total is going to be a linear curve if we look at the options the first is the plot of 1 by p total against y a is linear yes this is the correct answer for the question because according to the equation that we have derived from here we can understand that it obeys the linear equation and from there we will be getting a straight line between this. Okay, so you can also plot it, right, yA and 1 by p total. If you plot a curve between them, that is going to be a straight line passing from the origin because there is no intercept here. Okay. The next is plot of 1 by p total against yB is going to be non-linear. This is incorrect because YB is going to behave the same way YA is behaving. So, the curve between YB and 1 by P total is also going to be linear, right? Because YB is for the B component and YA is for the A component. But both behave in the same way, right? The curve is going to be the same. The next is plot of P total against Y is linear. Incorrect. As we saw, plot of P total against YB is linear. Again, incorrect because YA and YB both are going to be behaving in the same way. So, the correct answer is option 1. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.